Hello guys, how's it going? Hope you guys are having an amazing Friday. It is Friday and like the saying goes, the body knows it. I'm actually pretty excited to be here with you guys today on what it is. Episode four of our series, you know, that will turn into a podcast um, about JJ Detail Boku, you know, the 14 military leadership traits that every person uh, it's recommended to have or should have in order to become an effective leader these are principles that are used and uh, followed by military leadership and uh, the reason why they're so important is because you know there's no higher responsibility or calling than you leading men into, into war you know they're putting their lives in your hands and so you gotta make sure that you have uh, an outstanding leadership style and so these 14 traits are some of the things that we have uh, studied and follow in the military, you know, I'm a former Marine, I uh, did 12 years active duty in the Marine Corps and left that to start my own business or rather go full time into my own business because I was already up and running uh, while I was in the service. And so I've been able to transfer some of these 14 traits into what is this, my professional career. So I want to go ahead and share with you guys what some of those are. We've shared so far the first three um, first episode, you know, it's a little old. Uh, we talked about it a few months back. Hey, it doesn't matter. You know, if it if it works, it works. Uh, the first one being justice. That's the first one of the 14 leadership traits that uh, we believe in the United States Marine Corps. Every leader should have. Second one was judgment. We talked a little bit about judgment uh, again, you know, a few months back. And then just yesterday, we released the dependability um, episode which was number three you know the third trade that a leader should have being a dependable leader okay we went into a little bit of details of that you guys might have seen some of my shorts and you can see the long form video here on youtube or at youtube if you're not watching on youtube guys so today we get to talk to you guys about number four the fourth leadership trade is called initiative you know and the crazy word right you know initiative we probably heard it so many times but we don't really take into consideration how much of a role initiative uh, plays in the world of leadership. You know, initiative is the tendency to not wait for someone to tell you what to do, but to see what needs to get done and go on and do it. You know, um, Soichiro Honda used to say that the most important thing is the respect for people within the corporation. And so it is incumbent on the managers to create an environment within a corporation in which all employees are encouraged to take initiatives in carrying out the work and doing the work with pleasure. And so what that tells you guys is that if you are building a business, one of the things that you want to create, the type of environment that you want to create, that the words of Soshiro Honda mean, hey, if you are a manager, aka leader, right? You know, they use the word manager loosely here. You have to create an environment in your business where people feel encouraged to doing the work without having to being asked to do the work you know a lot of times and i've seen this so many times in business are just kind of going through the motions and they're doing things because they're being asked to and you know i remember one time you know, somebody told me look you know i love it that you're willing to help but if i have to ask you it's already too late it, the, the, the meaning is not the same However, if you see that something needs to get done and you're taking the time out of your day, going out of your way to uh, tell people or, or, you know, do for people whatever needs to get done without you having to be asked, that gets to open so many doors for you, you wouldn't believe. You know, initiative, by the way, is very lackluster in the world today. A lot of people out there, they're just kind of sitting down and waiting for something to happen. Uh, they're waiting for people to do things for them. Initiative is dead. You know, you see it in the way that some kids are being raised today. They go into a house and they see that something needs to get done. And they just kind of sit there and they look at whatever needs to get done and they don't do absolutely anything. Um, and uh, that, that kind of translates into the workforce too. There's people that do just enough not to get fired you know if you have a job i um, mean you're doing just enough not to get fired then you have zero initiative see a person with initiative what they do is they say look how can i improve this process so that i can make this better easier or completely unnecessary for somebody else but see we live in the world where everybody's thinking well i'll let the other person do it i'll let the other guy take care of it you know that's their role it's not my role and so the problem with that is that if everybody's thinking the same way, then somebody is not thinking. 
See, if everybody's thinking, oh, that guy can do it, you know, it's that guy's job to do it. And that guy's thinking, well, you know, they can do it. Then nobody gets to do absolutely anything because we're always expecting somebody else to do it. We lack initiative, guys. When it comes to leadership, you know, initiative has to do with everything from, you know, you taking the first step, for example, at uh, forgiving somebody. This is as crazy as that, you know, something as deep as that. A lot of times people, uh, for example, that get offended, they wait for someone to come to them and ask for forgiveness where, you know, if you had initiative, you could utilize your initiative and say, man, you offended me, but look, look, you know what? I don't know what you were going through at that moment. I forgive you. That's having initiative. Initiative means that, for example, if you are at a place, say on a building, you know, I, um, and the Frisella actually had a podcast about this um, and I loved it. You know, he said that in his business, um, you know, he goes around the parking lot and he says, you know, he looks around and he, he sees like a trash, a piece of trash. He picks it up. And one of the things that he does when he's looking for people, especially as people are coming in uh, to do an interview with him, is that they will purposely put things on the floor, throw trash maybe on the floor to see what that individual would do. And if somebody wouldn't stop to pick up that piece of trash put it on the trash you know even if it was right next to it or for example they went to the bathroom and they didn't um you know lift the the um the lid up you know like for example for man you know you went and peed and you didn't lift the lid up and even if you left the lid down maybe you like uh, wet the whole thing and then you went and cleaned it up you know some people don't even do that he says man if i worked at a place or if i had employees at a place where i know they're doing that they're gone they are not going to be in my company for a long time because guys you know people that are of a high 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 caliber out there especially highly successful individuals and i tell you this because i look for this in people what they look for is for people with initiative for people that said look you know what just tell me what uh, you know what needs to get done and then i'll just go ahead and do it you know in the military we call that um centralized command decentralized control by the way Uh, we have a mission. We said this is what needs to get done. That's kind of like the overarching mission. And what we do is we tell people what the mission is and we let them figure it out. And we try to identify the people that say, okay, I know that I need to achieve that goal. So what can I do? What kind of steps I can take without me having to be told that I need to get those things uh, done so that I can make this mission successful? And so that's one of the things that, you know, in leadership, you must have you must have initiative as a matter of fact a person that has initiative it's automatically seen as a leader you know it's like they're the first one there they're doing things and so because they're the first ones when they're doing something they're the ones that that first, take the first step to get that thing going whatever it is then they kind of take charge of the situation and they control the tempo the dynamic how everything goes and if you have somebody that's you know high higher than you for example if you're an employee or if you are a person that works at a business and you have a co-worker or a business partner that you see has a lot of initiative you get to say man you know what i love working with that guy you know what next time there is an opportunity for me to elevate that person's life i'm gonna go out of my way to do it for them because they have initiative guys initiative will open so many doors you would not believe problem is nobody's taking initiative nowadays you know it, it, it just doesn't no happen look you know i'll give you a very funny example and i think this actually works very well um let's say that you want to go out with a girl right you know you have this girl you like her you know she look good um most people nowadays you know i've seen this so many times is they're like texting each other or um they're kind of waiting for them to make the good the, the first move for example for you men you know there's a lot of men out there that kind of lost the masculine masculine uh melody or whatever you call that you know i'm sorry english is my second language so don't judge me too harshly okay um and so you know you got men out there that they like a girl and they don't have the guts to go and say something to her they have no initiative they're waiting for her to make the first move and guys you know especially for men listen up women like men that have initiative women like men that can take charge and just lead and and that's such a sexy thing for men to have and it's so lacking nowadays you know in business the same thing you know what, pay attention you gotta pay attention pay attention to who gets picked first whenever something needs to get done whenever there's a reward whenever there's something going on i guarantee you the people that are being picked first in your organization are the ones that usually are taking initiative about everything that they're not being weighed 
wait they're not waiting around for someone to tell them this needs to get done can you take care of it they're already doing it you know for example so if this happens it has happened so many times that sometimes people are like oh hey we gotta get this done and look you know i don't want to again brag but i want to tell you exactly what my my thoughts about this are i'm the type of individual that i if i see something needs to get done if i hear a conversation and they say well you know what we think that we should have this and this and that and the other and then you know everybody kind of just stands there looking around thinking like oh i wonder how we're gonna get that done i just start doing it i just start going at it i start putting things together and you know many times actually more times than i care to count what's happened is what i worked on without anyone having to tell me becomes the standard or becomes the norm and you know people follow that and that's just the way things are supposed to be you know when someone is thinking for example in a cluster of leadership let's say you are in a group of leaders the problem with leadership sometimes is that whenever you are in a group where everybody else is assumed to be a leader everybody's waiting for someone to say something and everybody's kind of like i don't want to say something because i might offend that guy because he think he's a leader too guys even in the world of leadership leaders look for people with initiative see i don't wait for someone to tell me something needs to get done i just go and get it done I, I that's one thing i love about me you know my wife hates it i love it um where i'm like okay look something needs to get done why would i wait for example in my in my in my spectrum my business it's my business am i in business with other people yes do we help each other do we put for example meetings and things like that together yes you know and I've sat down so many times and just kind of looked around to see what people are going to do when it comes to the meeting. And then I just try to like kind of take a, a, a backseat and just don't do anything. And things just come out being crappy. They do because they wait till the last second to get things going. They don't have the initiative to like, for example, increase their, their skill level so that they can actually bring some value when it comes to putting a meeting together, things like that. And so I just don't like to wait. If there's a group of leaders and, you know, for example, we run a system in our company and that system says, well, um, you know, th th there's this system going on and we got to make sure that we put it together because, uh, but, you know, perfect example. I just thought about this. We are, we have an academy in our, in our business and our academy needed to have some structure. And so we kept on talking about it, kept on talking about it, talking about it, talking about it. And everybody was looking for the guy that's mentoring us in business to tell us what the next steps were and in my head i'm like hold on i live in a world where technology is my friend i can go and ask a few uh, questions for example to ai i can look at other people's examples of how they run their academies and i can just compile that information in my mind and just kind of pick and choose the things that work put something together and what's the worst that could happen that they don't like it and they say look we know what? i appreciate the effort but we're not gonna go with that we're gonna go with something else but what ended up happening was that the the structure of The curriculum that I developed was so good that that's a standard now for our trainings. And so I, you know, nobody had to tell me, oh, you got to create a, a, a curriculum. No, it just needed to get done. And if I didn't do it, honestly, guys, somebody else wouldn't have done it, you know, and, and that's happened so many times where something just needs to get done. Nobody gets it done. And then here I am at the very last minute, just running around like a chicken with my head cut off, trying to figure out why somebody else didn't take charge to get this thing done when they knew that it had to get done maybe two weeks ahead of me. That is such, you know, so bogus. I hated that. Hated it in the military. I hated it, you know, in the, in the corporate world. I hated it in business. When people have no initiative, honestly, I don't even want to work with them because they're always waiting for you to tell them to go to work, for example. A person that lacks initiative will never take the first step to do the work that's required. They'll always wait for, for them to be motivated. They'll always wait for them to be told what to do. They're always wait for someone to kind of come and save them. And that's just not good business, guys. So, you know, if you want to become one of the top tier leaders in your organization and in the world of leadership, period, one of the things that you must, must have is initiative. You gotta be the one that says, I'm going to get things done without somebody having to tell me to do it, okay? Just remember that, guys. Create an environment where people feel okay, comfortable to take initiative. You know, if somebody is taking initiative, don't judge them, don't shun them. Give them the stage, give them the stage every now and then, so that they can shine with their ideas and the things that they're putting together. And that's going to allow other people to then step up, come up with even better ideas, and then you get together with all of those brains and you get to put together something very special, whether that's business, whether that is you know in the military, whether that's in your family, 
when you allow people to have initiative and you have initiative yourself people will grow out of whatever shell they're in and level up to whatever level they need to get to to achieve the success they're looking for so guys that is initiative i hope that helped that is number four la military leadership trade of the jjd taiboko initiative guys we already covered justice we covered judgment we covered dependability number four today initiative you gotta have it if you want to succeed stay tuned because tomorrow you know maybe on sunday i don't know yet depending on my schedule we are going to be talking about decisiveness guys you know and what it means to be a decisive leader so we're going to uh keep on going with this trend when i complete the 14 we might do a long form co uh, podcast for some of you guys that want to maybe jump in and argue or go over some of the information that we're providing hope this helped and we'll see you guys on the next one peace